Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Build and today we're dealing with the 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E Evolution 2. Now this has a 735 horsepower, 532 pounds feet of torque from a 3.6 litre turbocharging line 6 engine and the car itself weighs 2,786 pounds. You can do 0 to 16 3.676 seconds, 0 to 106.972 seconds going on to a top speed of 220 miles an hour. So yeah, we've not had all that many Mercedes on this series, certainly uh, none in the uh, top 10 or top 20. So uh, yeah, I'm not too hopeful about this, especially considering it's a uh, racing, ver road going version of a racing car, should I say. And uh, yeah, obviously we've had uh, versions of that kind of, in that kind of genre of car before on this series and they've not done extremely well. So uh, yeah, let's see what this car can do. Obviously this is a lot older than some of those cars that we've taken out before, so uh, yeah. Not entirely hopeful, but you never know, it could surprise. Then again, we are dealing with an all-wheel drive car, not rear-wheel drive like it was originally. Obviously got off-road suspension and off-road tyres as well. Which again, it was never meant to deal with. Plenty of decent acceleration on it though. It's for now dealing with the all-wheel drive okay. It's a water though that I'm feeling that it's gonna be the big killer for this. Just does not have the ride height. Yeah, just about 70 mile an hour. Slightly increased towards the end there, but I think that's because we were getting into shallower water. So I don't think it's going to be able to go all that quick at the beach, but we will have more speed going into the water at the beach than we did in the river part, so uh, should hopefully uh, be able to go a little bit quicker. And the jump's okay, which is a big surprise. Yeah, this thing does not like the water. It's going a little bit quicker at least than it was before. And that is a fairly decent time from a car like this, that is not a race, a road going version of a racing car and is old. So uh, 2 minutes 7 seconds, 0 0.728 seconds is pretty damn quick. And 728, uh, it's the exact same time as the Tesla Model S P90D. Uh, which also means it's quicker than the MG Metro 6R4, the Ford Falcon XA, the Lancia Delta S4 Group B Rally Car, the Audi Sport Quattro Rally Car, Baldwin Motorsports Trophy Truck and the Range Rover Sport SVR, and it's slightly behind the Infiniti IPLG, Ford F100 and the Ford Escort RS1800. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty solid from a car of this type, and, uh, yeah, it's certainly quicker than the uh, likes of the Aerial Atom from the uh, previous episode, which again is a road going version of a racing car. And uh, yeah, dealt with everything pretty well apart from the water, quite frankly. That was the only real uh, downside to this car. Dealt with the bumps and the jumps fine, dealt with his all wheel drive fine, had really good acceleration. And uh, yeah, like I said, just the water that was the main problem. So uh, yeah, if it wasn't for that, we would have been a hell of a lot quicker. But that's just the way it goes. Some cars have their weaknesses, some uh, cars don't. And this had one weakness, but. It was one too many, obviously, to uh, put in a really, really quick time, but decent enough nonetheless. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.